tutorial for you guys. For today's look, I am using eyeshadows mainly from the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the self-made palette. I recently got this palette in my Sephora haul that I posted a few videos back. I will make sure to link that one down below. This palette is really beautiful. When I first got it, the first color that caught my attention was this minty green color called Isla. And I knew right away that I wanted to do a tutorial with that color. I also thought it was time for me to do something that was a little bit more colorful than usual. I usually tend to gravitate towards the more neutral looks. But I thought since the holiday season is coming up, now is the perfect time to do a colorful holiday inspired makeup tutorial. This is a look that I think you can use for any holiday party, whether it be a daytime party or a nighttime party. I just really liked it. I did add some false lashes to add a little bit more, I don't know, va 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 boom to the lashes. Even though these are pretty natural lashes, they're not too, too, too dramatic. They're just the way I like my false lashes. I also use a lot of the products in this tutorial that I bought in that haul. So I'm pretty much trying them out for the first time with you guys today. As always, I will make sure to list all the products in the description box down below. This will be a full face makeup tutorial, so we better get started. So as always, the very first thing I like to do is to apply some primer to my eyelids. And this is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Next, I'm going to take this paint pot from MAC. It's called Green Stroke. And I'm going to apply that on my lid with a Sigma Tapered Precision Brush. Now it is time to start applying colors from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette. The very first one is Isla, and I'm patting that on my lid. It's a beautiful mint green color and I'm using a Sigma E55 brush. Next with this tapered brush I'm going to apply the shade buttery below my brow area and in the crease I'm going to apply the color Sherbert with a Sigma E25 brush. To darken the outer corners a little bit I'm also going to take the color Witchy with this E45 brush from Sigma and just apply that to the outer V. Just because I want it a little bit more defined and a little bit more dramatic, I'm going in with the color Hot Chocolate in that same brush and adding some more color to the outer V. So for the waterline, I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color in the shade Silver. These cream colors have a lot of uses and they're not really necessarily for the waterline. I just love to use them there. I have the shades Ice Blue and Honey and I absolutely love them. But I do have to say that I was very disappointed with the silver one. It didn't give me the same color payoff that the ice blue and the honey did. So for this step, you can feel free to use a silver eyeliner. It would work just great. Then on the lower lash line, I'm also applying the color Isla to add that mint green on the bottom as well. And I'm applying that with a Sigma short shader brush. Now it's time to go to the face. And here I am using my Makeup Forever Primer. This is the yellow one, which is a brightening primer. And for foundation, I am using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And I use the shade Y325, formerly known as 118. And I'm applying this with a Tarte Bamboo brush. And I'm adding a little bit more foundation and then doing the final blending with the Beauty Blender. Now it is time for concealer and the first step of course is to moisturize and I'm using the Fresh Rose Hydrating Gel Cream. Then I'm going to apply the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. I use the shade Medium. And last but not least is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I use the shade NW20 and I'm going to blend that in with a beauty blender. To set the under eye area, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. And to set my foundation, I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in the shade Light. Moving on to bronzer, here I am using the It Cosmetics CC Radiance Ombre Bronzer. And I'm using the MAC 135 brush, which I'm absolutely loving for bronzer. And for blush, I am using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Energy. To highlight, I'm going to use my new Laura Mercier Blush and Glow Radiant Face Trio. I'm really just using the shade Highlight 01, and I'm applying that with a Sigma F35 brush. 
For my brows, as always, I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. My brow routine is pretty simple. I love this pencil. Then I just flip it over and use a spoolie just to brush them out. And last but not least is to apply some clear brow gel. So I definitely needed to brighten the inner corner and I used my trusted MAC Nylon eyeshadow. I really tried to use a shadow from the self-made palette but nothing really did the job as MAC's nylon does. Here I am applying some eyeliner and I am using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and for this look I wanted to do a soft wing. Time for mascara and I'm gonna apply the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Also for today's look, I really wanted to do some false lashes. So I went with these natural lashes from Ardell and these are the 124s. For my lips, I'm gonna be using a holy grail lip color of mine, which is of course is Max Snob. And for gloss, I'm gonna use this Buxom lip gloss in the shade Kimberly. So that is pretty much it. This completes my holiday look using the Anastasia self-made palette. I'm really happy with the way this look turned out. In a way, it kind of feels a little bit like sweet and romantic just because I feel like the green color on the eyes and the pink lips is just kind of like a nice, sweet, and peaceful type of look. I do have to say that there are two products that I really loved that I used in this tutorial that it was the first time I used them today and I absolutely loved them. The first one is the Energy Blush from Tarte. This one was brand new and I just really loved the color and I also loved how the pink blush went with the green eyes. It was a very soft pink. And then I also really loved this Laura Mercier palette. I really only use the highlight in this tutorial, but it was just a beautiful highlight. I know, oops, I dropped the brush. I know that they sell this one also individually. As for the palette, for the colors I used, I did like most of them for the most part. I did feel that that witchy color was just a little bit too sloppy. It did have a lot of fallout, so it's important to, you know, remove any excess from the brush so that you don't you know make a mess but there are some other colors that I have yet to try so I will keep on using this and let you know how I feel about the whole palette but so far I really like it just that one color was you know had a lot of fallout kind of messy which I really don't like that about eyeshadows but all in all I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you try out this look for the holidays and as always I just want to say thank you thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup bye